Well done for everyone giving their submissions in for come design with me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson. Today we're going through some logo design submissions for the come design with me logo design challenge. I'm sure you all know about it now, so I won't spend too long talking to you about what this is, but basically we are doing a logo design challenge for a fictional company. And in these videos, I put you head to head with other subscribers to see who wins in each video. Then we go to a final where you could win $200 Amazon gift card voucher and in episode six which was the last episode of come design with me we have the polls and they are in there was 264 people who voted not too sure why there was only 264 but we have mike duane with 155 votes with 58 percent of the votes with henry luna coming in second place nick and then nades so well done mike you are into the finals of come design with me keep sending in your work Today is a bit of a different come design with me anyway because we've got a lot of ladies giving in their designs and I'm really excited to see the difference and see what they're doing today. So let's let's just jump in. So the first submission is from Gemma Montgomery. You can see right there this is lemon or this lemon life. First impressions, I think you've got a very good color scheme here. It reminds me of an app called Monzo. So very clever. You've chosen very nice modern colors that is friendly. I also love the professionalism here. Just one thing that I want to fix here is this needs to be centered and bigger in my humble opinion and also I wouldn't forget to put the capital letters here just because it's a bit more formal it's a bank sort of thing so here we go we've got the logo design I want to find the the real logo here so we've got Payzeal here now this logo is really different to other ones that we've seen in the past you can see here we've got the Payzeal typographic logo which I don't know what font you've used but it looks it looks very nice and you've also got the icon here now the icon looks very different as well but I like it. Now, the only issue that I'm seeing here is the color choice. Now, you want this to be the same color as that, really, um, if you're going to do anything with a bit of a shadow, just because the contrast in this doesn't work. And the contrast is a big part about getting a logo seen. And I can understand that you wanted the bright colors to symbolize something. So maybe if we were just to go ahead and do this little tip, so grab this, go up here, you know, edit, and we can actually desaturate or saturate this to a different color altogether that's not on the color wheel even to, i know this looks a bit strange now but even something like this where it's easily seen having two colors in this logo with such a interesting icon for the letter p might not work now this could work but i would suggest if we were to do this and it's going to steal it right here i would suggest just to get rid of this part here in the middle if i can i'm not too sure if i can another thing that you could do to make this look even better is to give it the same thickness the actual line weight the same thickness as the typographic thickness here i love your presentation the colors are amazing i don't think they contrast enough though because when i'm zooming out you can see here where you've shown me about your font family it doesn't really stand out to me the color choice you've got to be wary of contrast even though it could work technically it might not work the best for contrasting brand presentation I love your app here as well. It's very cleanly done. I, I like it a lot. I just think the logo needs to be less yellow and blue and probably a bit more of that pink color that you've got going on here as the uh, actual white. I like your mock-ups and everything. It looks unreal. Well done. I'd love to see you put this through its paces and take on some advice from people in the community. Read the comments down below. They're probably going to tell you things that you could do better and then resubmit it so we can get it back on a video. This next one is from Roll Down. Dan, and I'm not going to even try and spell or say his last name. Cabarubias. Cabarubias. It looks a bit strange here because I haven't got the typeface. So remember to always outline your typefaces before you send them in. But you can see here we've got the logo idea. I'm going to find the logo. Here it is. Ooh, this logo looks very nice. So you've got the sort of zeal part here. So the energy, you've got the Z and you've got the transfer of money. And this is one icon here. And then he simplified the icon down to this. And oh man, this looks cool. It's got the grids and everything. And this is what he's chosen. So he spent a lot of time within the icon stage of the logo. And he's used these amazing gradients. I really like this. This looks really modern. And you've got it spaced exactly how I would like it spaced. Even the kerning 
is on point. And also something that everyone else can like learn from this is that you haven't just used dark black, you used like a nice gray. And for reference, for anyone who wants to know the gray, here's the hex code for anyone who wants to know the gray. Here we've got a card I've talked about in other episodes of the series two of Come Design With Me with Paisil, and I've said in the Miller note, nothing about a bank card. Now you can put a bank card in here if you want because it shows that we can like, you know, carry on with the evolution of the company. You don't want to take anything away from them, but they haven't talked about anything with the bank card. But in this case, you've done a really good job of showing me a mock-up of a bank card that looks clean and professional. And I think a lot of this logo here and the presentation is behind the color theory that you've chosen. You've chosen very nice, contrasting, minimalistic, modern colors. So well done, especially here. The logo works in different color schemes. So you've got the actual gradiented blue, which is very nice. And you've got just the, the blank or the, the blank gray, blank gray, blank gray. And the icon as well looks very nice. Only one thing I would change about this icon right here which if I if I'm allowed can I change it uh, I have to do I have to do the old get into the outline mode here yeah about there you want it to be as big as possible within the icon just to show it because it's going to be a very small icon but again I love how the icon matches with the logo type and the branding colors that you've chosen and also again you've done a really good job because you've realized that this logo works as a pattern as well and the icon indeed works as a pattern well done this looks unreal so roll down very nice logo I like like it a lot it's probably one of my favorites that i've seen so far but you are the ones who decide who wins this competition so the voting card at the end of the video should be up here so you have to watch them before you can vote but make sure you watch it and then vote the third submission for today is from san jansen or jansen not too sure again i'm really bad with pronouncing names so let's look at the logo in full first here we go this is the logo right here again looks very nice i like the look of it just watch out for that kerning right there on the e you've got to make sure that the e is right in so sam you have gone for a like a brighter blue color anyone wants to know the hex code which i find very interesting that people want to know this is this right here you've gone for a very bright blue color and i think it works well but i think it could be darker it's more like a cyan turquoise color the actual logo type again you've gone for very blocky and bold z which i like as well who doesn't like a blocky and bold z it just gets it across it gets the jagged edges across like you know there's energy and form with that you can see here in your idea stage that you've got all these different ideas for logo concepts. And I like this, that you've shown this. For anyone who doesn't know and is new to the logo design scene, uh, it's always good to start off with drawing icons out with just a pencil and paper on a bad bit of paper, you know? Reason being is it actually gives you more freedom, but it also limits you on the things you can do with that logo. If you can draw it easily and it's easily drawn within a few seconds, then it's gonna work well as a logo so you've gone through a lot of these and you've done a good job here and then you've brought them in some of your best ideas you've refined refined and then you've gotten to this part here and then you've chosen your color options very nicely done only thing again is that the Paisil icon or the type here may be slightly too weighty might be too thick of a weight so i'll bring that weight down on the typeface not too sure what typeface you've used but also the z it works super well as a icon but does it say Paisil to me so in the past few episodes a lot of people have been putting the z in as Paisil, uh but it doesn't really say anything about Paisil. now when you hear Paisil or marketed to as Paisil. It's important to hear that word Paisil and it makes sense. I know the actual fictitious name of the company is a bit strange, so it's hard for people to grasp, but I think it's good to have the pay or the P in there as an icon, as well as Z. And I know the Z is a lot easier because it's more symmetrical and you can do more with it, but I'd like to see more with the P. So again, you've got the business cards here with the branding pattern on the background. Just make sure that every time you've got a pattern, you bring the opacity down because you don't want it to be seen as a forefront thing. I know you're scared of people not seeing it, but don't be afraid of that. It's meant to just blend into the background. And something like this, where you've got the brand system going on with the icon, so you've got transfer, and then you've got pay. And I can see that there. When you're actually presenting this to a client, it's really important to explain this. If I didn't see that, I wouldn't understand the differences between the logo. So you've got a little logo system there, dude. So well done, man. This is really good. If you like this one, click the voting card at the top.
Okay, so this next one is from Ahmed Azab and he sent in his work here. So first things first, Ahmed, what I really get the feeling I want to do is take your logo and bring it out. Uh, even though that's wrong typographically and everything. I feel like this logo is very squished bush together. It's very condensed. So let's try it over here with this. Get this a bit wider so it fits within like a square like this. You want it to fit within a square like that so it looks symmetrical all the way around. So you've got your sketching stage here so I can understand where you're going from with this. And then you've got your PZ monogram here. So I get it as a P and a Z in there. Very clever. The lightning bolt evokes passion. Yes, that's true. When you're doing it with the client never circle like this never put a circle in your logo like that for a client it can like ruin it for them you use this dark color with the hex code right there good on you for putting the hex code in the work and for Chura as a type face. You're showing here how you use the golden ratio, which is very nice. I like the look of it. But the problem is, as we now know, even with the golden ratio within a logo, it does not mean that it works well all the time. And although I do like the concept of this logo, I think it needs to be executed better. And that means that you just need to go back to the drawing board a bit and think about how you can widen this up. It does not have to look exactly like a P it's supposed to be an identifying mark for the company whether it works as a P or whether it works just as an abstract icon that is unique to them I like all the assets that you've given me here Paisley it looks really really professional right there I like that I like the dark blue as well the navy blue I like that and also you show me what it looks like in a boardroom be careful when you give things like this to clients because some clients now especially millennial ones like us don't have boardrooms like this where it looks very corporate and they tend to stay away from that and you know Paisley is not a corporate company so even having mock-ups like this where it shows a boardroom or a conference room that's very corporate can actually put off the client to the design. The design could be the best logo design in the world, but if you've got a boardroom in there, it could actually put them off severely to the design because they want you to come up with something a little less corporate. Design is all about trust, and sometimes you need to show clients things and not show them things to gain that trust with them so you know what you're talking about, or so they know that you know what you're talking about. The next submission is from Jack Massey, and he has given us this logo here, which is very unique. I don't think I've seen a logo for a pay company in yellow, but can I just say it works really well with the color combination that you've chosen and also can I just credit you and say well done on adding a stroke to this although it may look childish at first it actually works very well in encompassing this friendly idea about the company and this will be I think a very dividing logo within the community because of these two attributes it's supposed to be professional yet friendly and you've added them together with a really clean font and icon. And can I just credit you again for the icon as well? It looks very good, adds depth. Watch out for this. You've got kerning issues, Kern, kerning issues. The icon again looks really great, looks really friendly. It's got a pattern in the background. You've chosen many different colors. It's very contrasting. I like it a lot. I'm not too sure what these are here. I think these are supposed to be images. Sorry that I didn't get them. They don't pop up all the time. And you've got your idea creation here. So it starts off with the P, keeps going, keeps going. And you're simplifying, you're simplifying, simplifying. And then from here, you you start to realize about this part here of the P, that you can make that into a Z, or you can make it into an O. And then you carry on, and you've got this, Pay Zeal. Pay Zeal works very well. Jack, credit to you for this work. It looks unreal. I think there's a few things you could do in here to make it a little more corporate, and a little more trustworthy, because remember, we are still a money application that businesses need to use. The question that you've got to ask yourself is that if you're a business that's turning over millions of pounds, would you trust them? Would you trust Paisil through this brand? Does this appeal to your target audience that was in the briefing notes on Millinote? Guys, if you like Jack's one, click up here and vote. So this last submission for today is from Osama Yami and the work here is amazing. I like the look of it so far. It looks very unique. Now, one thing that I'd like to do is take this logo, let's ungroup it first. We'll take this logo, just bring it down. It doesn't need to be the forefront. We want it to work together. Something like that. It's probably a bit too small that, but something like this. So we'll just have a look at the logos first. It works really well all across the board. I like the pattern. Ooh, now this pattern is different. That's trippy. 
It's hard for my eyes to focus on that, so it's very unique and very optimal. Okay, one thing about the logo that I'm gonna say straight off the bat is that this part here, the negative space, this needs to come further down, like so. The reason why it needs to come further down is because if it's very small, you don't see that line. It looks really, really thin, that line. So you need to exaggerate that line and make it really small like so so you need to make that line bigger and then it will look better when it is much smaller let's have a look at the logo design and how you did it so you got a p very nice p by the way and a z so you've come up with this sort of system of a p in a rounded part oh and this this is something that makes your logo look really professional you've kept it i think within this cool grid and this grid here oh this looks really nice i like that having a grid makes your work look so much better sometimes to a designer but to a client it can confuse or make them think you're a wizard okay so summer i absolutely love your logo it looks very nice i think there's a few things you need to change like the sizing and stuff like for instance here let's let's just move this to the right here it's kind of difficult to do because of the way that it's balanced but it can be done i just don't want to spend forever on the video doing it but i absolutely love this logo it's, it's very corporate but friendly at the same time and it makes me who's a millennial like it i just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video squarespace squarespace is the one-stop place where you can get a beautiful website done easily if you're someone who's a creative or a freelance designer and you need a portfolio site then squarespace is the place for you especially if you want to sell online resources which is a massive part about freelancing nowadays you can't just always assume that you're going to have clients i've been using squarespace for nearly no over three years now and it's been my one-stop place for selling products having a blog and showing my work through my portfolio and first contact for potential clients i'm a logo designer not a web designer so i find it difficult sometimes to actually create good website design but there are thousands of templates in squarespace for you to choose from that you can edit as well to make it into your own customized amazing looking website for 10 percent off squarespace and for a free trial of squarespace click that link down below in the description it helps me because they sponsor the channel giving you free content content like this for 10% off Squarespace and a 30 day free trial click that link down below when you do that it actually helps me keep videos like this on my channel going for as long as possible so show your support and click that link down below also if you're new to this please press that red subscribe button down below it's a big fat one it is completely free to subscribe press that like button if you like the video if you want to become a cool part of the channel where you receive perks and everything else to do with design whether it's my products my fonts or just like live streams or messages then you press that join button when you do you become a member of my channel which gives you amazing perks and it's a good way to support the show as well guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video press that like button if you didn't like it press the dislike button twice here are the logos on the screen vote carefully vote mindfully and i'll catch you in the next one see you soon goodbye